via the, the green light. So first and foremost, as I always start any big event, um, I want to thank everybody for being here. I, you know, your attendance is, is very much appreciated, your business and, uh, you know, your involvement in our community, right? We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You guys are the most important people out of all of us, right? We would not be here without you guys. Uh, we've been patiently waiting to launch this system because, as I mentioned earlier, we didn't do the testing and the optimization. I actually put it in the hands of a beta group, and we said, I want you guys to produce consistent results with this system. And once you can show me that, then we'll launch it to the community. And that's the difference with this algo launch. The second big aha moment for what we're about to share with you is that what we did was we took the back test results, okay, from the optimizations in the system settings, and we compared it with the manual results to make sure that it wasn't skewed in the back test and the optimizations, because so many people say, well, the back tests are not the same as live trading. So that's what we did. We actually compared all of the trade setups that were happening from a manual discretionary approach to the automation approach, and they were exactly spot on. Now, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Today, we're going to talk about pattern breakouts and market structure automation. It's a price action system. This is not an order flow algorithm. This is not an indicator-based system. That's the key here. This is based on 100% price action. So there's a very big difference between indicator-based systems and price action-based systems. The second main part of this event is to make sure that you understand that it's the simplest system we've built. So because it's not using indicators, okay, it's using price, and because it's super, super simple, plus it was beta tested before we brought it to market by an algo group that proved its consistency, I think we're in a different environment with this presentation. How many of you guys would agree? You guys ready for this? We're going to show you the pattern finder algo. And this is actually an indicator that uses price action analysis. And we decided to turn it into an algo because we had some very, very profitable retail traders trading this on a manual way. In fact, one of our other educators used to trade this a lot. I mean, many of you guys know Gilbert, right? Gilbert used to trade the pattern finder manually on a few markets and did very, very well with it. We actually took it another level and we automated it. And we automated it and we've got optimization and backtest results for three markets today, mainly the S&P and the NASDAQ are the two primaries. But uh, we're excited to share this. Now, that being said, I do need to cover a disclaimer. Can everybody just give me a why in the chat box that they're aware of the risks? They know we're not here to give you advice. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And we can't guarantee anything, but we can definitely help you. We can educate. We can provide you products and services. And should you trade on your own capital or for a prop firm or whatever, we're not tied to your performance, right? It's not our objective. Yeah, we're good. Perfect. So. You tell me, I could sit here and read this slide and I could go bullet by bullet. I could talk about your emotions, how hard it is to follow a trading plan or your back tests, your manual back tests, or just taking errors or just sometimes not being on your game, right? Like, like sometimes you're just not on your game, right? That's just the reality, right? So a lot of people automate for a reason, right? I don't know what your reason is whether you're trying to increase your accuracy for order execution, or you don't have a trading plan manually because you're an emotional wreck, maybe you don't have any type of systematical and mechanical approach, or, or mainly you just like automation because you're just, you just like it. Like some people just prefer it, right? I don't know what you prefer. Some people like manual and algos. Some people only like manual. Some people only like algos, but you're here for a reason, right? And it's our job to show you the benefits of using today's algo and why it would be a solution for you. It's our job to make sure that you understand that solution. It's our job to make sure that you can see that there's consistent results with that solution and that we can provide you a better solution in terms of an edge. End of story. Whether you have 10 of these bullets or one of these bullets, either way, we're all here for the same reason. But there are benefits to automation. Because some things cannot be done at the human level, mainly the speed and the execution and the efficiency, 
Okay. And so therefore we're going to do our best to make sure that you understand why you'd want to do this, because I, sh I truly believe that there's an edge here that, 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 that is simpler than anyone else is doing right now. I can almost guarantee that. So how many of you guys own an algo from us? Give me a yes. How many guys have bought at least one algorithm from us or a product from us? Okay. A lot of, lot of repeat customers in here. Thank you for your business. We appreciate that. I don't know if you guys know this, but the development team has spent over a year fine tuning and tweaking and fixing and enhancing and expanding the algo engine. The algo engine is not part of the algo. It's the backbone to building inside of Ninja's infrastructure. We've rebuilt Ninja. Yeah, we're going to show it. We're going to show it. But we've rebuilt Ninja's strategy component of their platform. We really built an entire new testing engine. Why? Because we've created an infrastructure that is superior to any other automation component in the business, period. There's a lot of people out there that sell algos, and we know a few of them, and some of them are actually pretty darn good. Like they've got some really good innovative products, and they've got some web versions and all that stuff. But when it comes to quant, and when it comes to system building and testing, and execution, and money management, and trade management, and filters, and blockers, and all of that stuff, um, we've we've mastered it. So when it comes to trusting algos, you you should not be trusting all automation out there in terms of the infrastructure the order management, the trade management, the filtrations that, and this is, an, this is an advantage to using ARC algos. This is truly an advantage to using our systems over what's available in the marketplace because we, we've mastered it. Like we have an algo team that all they do is code automation and optimize the engine and tweak it and fix it. And uh, they're the best in the business in terms of order management, period. So you have that to your advantage, okay? So let's get into the signals. Let's get into the system. And we don't need to go down the other rabbit hole for too long. How many of you guys can see the red and the green zigzags? You mean yes. Okay. It's that simple. We are following price, period. All we're doing is we have a price algorithm that looks for price patterns based off of reversals and breakouts on market structure. It's 100% price driven. It's 100% in tune with current market conditions. No lagging, no momentum, no EMAs, no, none of that, none, none of that. You can filter with that later, but like the signal itself is based on breakouts off pivots and market structure changes in the market. And that's why it's so powerful is because it's as simple as it gets. It doesn't need to be complicated for it to be very effective and very consistent with signal generation. And depending on the bark type that you use and the swing setting that you use will determine the, determine the effectiveness or how, how many signals you want to produce in a day, et cetera, okay? So when you look at two types of patterns or two types of options for trading, okay? There's really, th there's, there's three, long patterns and there's three short patterns. And this is why you can't do this manually because it's really difficult to determine those patterns. This is why an algo or having the software do what it's doing is very critical because when you're trading in fast markets, you could be in a signal and be hitting your target before you even know what the hell just happened because price will sometimes break structure and rock or sometimes you'll get a pivot and it'll just explode. And you don't even have a chance to adjust or, or react to it. But there's different types of rotations, right? And, and so what we have is we have three long patterns and three short patterns, but they're all price action breakouts off swing tr structure analysis. And our software is scanning the market for all six of these patterns at any given time. And you can turn one of them on, two of them on, three of them on for longs or shorts. You can have them all on or whatever the case may be. You can optimize for one versus the other. You can test all of them, but we've already done a lot of that heavy lifting for you. Like I said, we had an algo team get the templates ready for us. Not me and not my staff, but like people that are actually consistently profitable algo traders using other algos of ours. And so what we did was we got them to really tweak and really get the signals rocking 
so that you can basically not have to fine tune things. I know a lot of people, one of the biggest requests was, well, we buy these algos, but we spend too much time trying to get them up and running and set up. Well, we've really kind of fast tracked that this time because outside of having everything pre-built, we really wanted you to have the right templates to go with so that you could roll out as soon as possible. Okay. So knowing this, when you look at certain signals, depending on the signal that you're using or depending on how you, you go about looking at taking these trades, you're going to have some trades that are going to be massive because they're going to be breaking major structure. Some trades will be smaller and some trades will be really, really big because depending on the structure that, that, that gets taken out will determine the effectiveness of the trade. What's nice is that we can control that based off the swing settings and the strength of the market structure algorithm. So what does that mean? Well, the stronger the swing strength, the stronger the signal. The smaller the swing strength, the more signals you're going to get. So that's really the only thing that you change. Like, like when I said this is simple, it really is that simple. There's only one setting, the swing structure, period. You don't do anything. There is no other factor of the system. The only thing that changes is how big or how small you want to take the structure breaks from. Because the smaller the signal, the more noise, the bigger the signal, the less noise, right? Just depends on how you want to trade it. So when I meant like this is the simplest algorithm we've ever built, it truly is the most simplest system we've ever built. And it's not indicator-based. That's the key. No lag, completely leading, completely consistent. So here's a great example on Renko's. One of the things you're going to find with Renko's is that because Renko's remove a lot of the noise, we get these really quick zigzags and pops. And at first we thought it was a bug. We're like, hey, what's going on with the software? These results are incredible. But then we realized just the way that the Renko charts move with their structure, because you don't get a lot of zigzags, you get these wicks and then these breaks. And you're going to see these, depending on how you set your Renko's up, you're going to see these one one brick reversals or these, you know, you get these one or two brick reversals like this. It, it, it's like this right here. You can see this one came down. It came and give a push. You get a bar flip and then a flip and a pivot very quickly. And you don't get time to react. You get these one bar flips and these, they, and we realize that it's just the way that the Renko bar reacts to swing structures, pivots. And, and we went back and we're like, are these results even real? Like, is it true? And we're like, yeah. And we watched it and we rolled it live and we're like, yeah, it's just the, the way the Renko's work and the way that the structure swings work. And because Renko's mask price action and what they do is they hide the zigzags a lot, right? That's the job of a Renko is to completely remove the noise. But when you get these wicks and they reverse and they break, even on small, small bars, right? I'm not talking about like the hybrid where you get these really large wicks. I'm talking about in fast markets on small time frames. you know, depending on how you set the zigzags and how you set the swing strength, you could get some really, really, really fast trades and they're fast and they're automated and there's no way you're going to catch them manually because they happen too quickly. They just truly do. And they're not based on momentum. Like you can filter with trend and you can filter with momentum should you choose to, right? Like this trade here is a great example of this structure break happened on the right side of momentum. This structure break happened on the right side of momentum. So there's some pretty good advantageous effects of filtering with momentum and trend, but it's not necessary because structure is structure. Price is price. Okay. Here's a great example of using the uh, maximum signals per direction. One of the things that we, we realize is you don't want to be taking so many trades with a trend before it just, you, you get kicked in the face, right? Like how many times have you traded late in a trend and you're like, yeah, I took too many trades. And I, we have the ability to choose blocking certain amount of trades per direction because a lot of times you'll shift you get the first trade in a new direction. This is a very powerful signal. The first trade in a new direction is a very powerful signal because you're getting the first structure break in the new direction. And you're going to get that a lot in smaller time frames because the market changes direction a lot in smaller time frames. And what we found is the first structure break in the new change is a very, very, very powerful trade. And so a lot of times traders will just trade the first trade. They, they won't trade the second one or the third one. You can choose to block those, but it's really up to you as to how you choose to effectively take those. It just depends on how active you want to be 
or how restrictive. And it's really a preference at that point. Now, you're going to see here that we also have the ability um, to select after certain bars. Like, you can choose to block the signal after a certain amount of bars. I personally think number of direction is a little bit more efficient than this, mainly because, you know, you never know how many bars are going to be in a trend. Like, you know, but we have the ability to block that. And if you're on bigger timeframes, it may, it may be a factor, but you're going to see that you can choose to block trades after a certain amount of bars. And, and, and it just depends on how you, how many act, how many signals you really want to be taking per direction? I believe that this is more effective than say this, but they have we have the ability to do both. Now, this is really important to me because we're not using indicators for the signal. It's 100% price based. But what we are using is we we can use momentum and trend. And I truly think that this is an advantage because you're taking structure price breaks in the direction of the market. So there's an advantage to using filters in terms of directional bias, but I'm not saying based on signal settings, very different. How many of you guys would agree that taking structure breaks in the direction of a trending market can be very, very effective versus being in a choppy market and there's no trend, right? Like you, you have that ability to filter and therefore we've put that as, and that's part of the engine. Right, that's part of the the engine. It's not part of the signal, but this shows the example of taking the structure breaks in the right direction. Okay, this this really is. Um, uh, we've also added a market structure filter, which is new, where you can actually have big market structure in the algo that's independent from the signal market structure. So let's say this is market structure on the algo that is a big swing strength. But inside of that, you have these small zigzag patterns that are getting the pivot breaks. And so this is a filter. This is the signal. And we have a line down here that we've been at. We've added a market structure line that you can choose. Like if you don't want to see the zigzags on the chart like this from the market structure, we've coded a, a, a graph down here that basically you can turn on and you can see that this is pink. So what this does is this allows you to be able to take only the shorts when the pink background is pink because you're trading with the bigger market structure and you're only allowed to trade the longs. Okay. You're only allowed to trade the longs in the blue structure. Okay. And when it's dotted, it's a transition. The market's transitioning. When the markets are dotting, it's, I don't take the trades. Okay. And this has to do with the big higher time frame market structure filters that are based inside of the algo. Yeah, it is awesome. It's a new structure filter that we've added that, that is actually part of the engine. And we wanted to release it as part of what we're doing because we realized that every system can benefit from that. But we've been making enhancements to the engine. So as we release new algos and as we release new systems, we just keep stacking on top of the engine with better and better and better things to help make the algos more efficient for testing and for more filters. So we've got momentum filters. We've got trend filters. We've got EMA filters. We've got market structure filters now. And these are all requests by the algo community. Okay. Yeah, it is an awesome addition. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad you guys see that. As you know, every algo has money management. For, no, for those of you that are new in here, this may or may not be something you're aware of. A lot of you are already aware that it has money management built into the system, right? And we have the pop-ups and we basically tell you to shut the algo off, et cetera. But for those of you that don't know, we have the ability to block trades based off money management and risk management. So for those of you that don't know or you're brand new in here and you're just getting started with us, every one of our systems has the ability to turn your strategies off when you've reached goals for profit and loss. Now, here's what I want to talk about. I don't want to, I don't want to just talk about this back test or this system test or whatever, but I, I want to talk about what our goal was. What our goal was, okay, very, very important, okay? Um, our goal for testing on this round of algos was not this. Yes, it looks sexy. Anybody that has an equity curve like that, of course they would be excited. Our goal was more the, the ratio to win-loss to our multiple. This was something that we've been focusing on a lot with regards to the systems because it's really great when the market's favoring any strategy or condition. But when the market 
puts you into a drawdown or when the market puts you, sometimes traders have a hard time with high win rate and low R multiple trades, right? Like you, you have an 80% win rate, you get one loss and it wipes out five, five year wins, right? Like we understand that there's a pro and a con to large win rates, small win rates. You know, we've had this discussion in some of our algo training and some of that. But what I found unique about this system, especially when the beta testers gave us the results of this, was that all of the stats were improved. <laughs> Maybe it was just us. Maybe we should give all of our beta testers the algos and they'll do a better job. I'm totally fine passing the torch. I don't care about us being the, the bearer. I just care about the better results getting handed to the community. And if you notice this, this is almost a 70% hit rate on a one-to-one -one R multiple. That's incredibly fantastic. Like that is really, 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 really good. Um, when you can start getting above 60 to 70% on a one-to-one -one as an algo in a day trading environment, that's very, 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 very solid. And this is what you're going to find today. We're going to talk about some of the stats on some of the tests that we've done and some of the, the, the settings that we have is that we found across the board, all of the metrics for this system were just better. It wasn't even about the profit. Like it wasn't even about the profit or the drawdown ratio. It was about the consistency of the impact of the R multiple versus the, and the profit factor. This is a more stable system. This system doesn't produce as much risk on the drawdown than the, some of the other algos that, that have been produced. And so why am I sharing this? Because I think it's a safer, it's a safer strategy. I think as, as, a, as a quant person myself, I see looking at the metrics of a strategy like that, uh, I just feel that it's, it actually has more merit in terms of stability and also drawdown management. That's very important to quant traders. Here's another example. This was uh, S&P Mini, okay? This one had a higher win rate, but this one was a slightly lower R multiple. We're gonna get into this because I actually have a better test than this. This is just an image from a while back. Uh, we actually, this, was, this image was taken long before we prepped for the launch, but it just goes to show you that you know, you can still have very, very, very high profit factors with very low drawdowns, right? And very high win rates with very solid consistency. And so many kills on charges. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing. Some algo traders want full automation. We know that. We, we understand that. Some algo traders want them from areas of interest. What's really unique about this system, just like the HFT system that we rolled out, let's say we've got a strategy and let's say you're a profile trader, right? And you got a distribution and you've got a value rate high and you got a value rate low. You can take this algo and let's say we're trading at the point of control going up, going up, going up, going up, boom. We got a structure breaking short right here. You can turn the shorts on knowing you're coming into very, very area, big areas of resistance. Or better yet, if you're coming down into support, boom, 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 you get a structure break long, boom, you get another trend trade going back up to the value high. You can use this type of a system knowing that it's based on price action reversals and breakouts, trading out of areas of interest. You do not need to run this as a fully automated system. You could run this as a semi-automated timing tool in conjunction to having it as a full algo. So it really boils down to what you want to use the system for because it actually caters to both audiences, okay? So let's go into the actual strategy for a second. Let's take a look at some of this. Now, I'm going to talk about the least efficient one that we ran, and this is just crude oil. Crude's a unique market, and uh, you know, but not a lot of traders are running algos on crude, but it is still an algo nonetheless. And uh, you know, we found that you know this this did have a drawdown, right? This did have a drawdown. This could have been basically. Uh, you know, this, it could have been just time of day and it could have just been ultimately the, the consistent, but you're going to see that the, the ratios are one to one. So when you look at the strategy, it's not that it's bad. It's just, it wasn't nearly as good as the NASDAQ or the S&P. Now, do you need to trade on crude? No. Does it have to be used on crude? No. You can trade it on whatever market you want. But one of the things you're going to find is that we've tested it consistently on multiple markets. And that was the difference. Like many of the strategies we released before, that you've seen us roll out. I just focused on the S&P. And this time we focus on multiple markets so that we could provide an advantage for those of you that want to trade the NASDAQ or the S&P or crude. And we put that in the hands of our, of our beta team. Now, let's just focus on the S&P for a second. Let's just talk about the S&P and the NASDAQ. Now we ran these optimizations till 
Friday because when we we're prepping for a webinar, I didn't have time to run them today. And that's on purpose. I, I don't know how the market responded today. And I'm not interested yet because I'm, I was prepping for an event. So I, I prepped all this coming in on the weekend so that we had everything ready. So this was up till last Friday, up to the 4th. You can see up to the 4th. Okay, and I believe that was, yeah, Friday. We ran this to the 4th. So this went all the way to last Friday. Okay, now let me just talk about this for a second. Let's just run one at a time. This is the S&P. Okay, what stands out to you right now? Just looking at the metrics for all of you algo traders out there, what stands out to you? This is a couple of weeks. It's just three weeks as a day trading system. This is, we just wanted to keep it consistent over the last month of data. But like, let me just talk to you for a second. What, what do you see that stands out here to you guys looking at it? Profit factor? Okay, I'm going to circle that. What else stands out to you? The percentage profitability, Raju says. Okay. What about the win-loss ratio to that profitability? This is a 0.75R multiple with an 82% hit rate. That's massive. Like that's incredibly consistent. Like that's almost a one-to-one. -one. That's three quarters of a one-to-one. -one. As a quant trader, if you're a math person like I am, that's very, very stable. And so when I seen this, I was like, finally, this is very, 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 very different than the other systems. And so to me, I don't, I don't, it's not about preference or one system over the other. It's like, let the data do the talking. We're all quant traders in here, or you wouldn't be here. If you weren't interested in algos, you wouldn't be interested in the data. It's not about the signal. Okay. And this is run, let me just run this down in the morning here. I believe it was. Yeah, it's the morning session. This is all in the mornings. Yeah. Okay. So let's go in here and take a look at this. The adverse, adverse and favorable excursion are looking very good. Yes, they are very good. And that's because it's price. Like indicators are indicators. Price is price, right? This is just, this is all the trades, right? And, you know, it's, I just found that the level of consistency that was produced on the S&P was amazing. Like half hour of the day, we can come in here and like run that in the morning session. This is the entire morning. Right. This is really, really, really solid. OK. So to me, uh, this is something I wanted to share with you guys, because I felt that compared to what we've seen in the algo space. You can basically ultimately see that the level of consistency is just way, way different in terms of stats, in terms of this versus other markets and other algorithms that we've built and produced. And um, when you look at the filters. Okay, let's just go in here and take a look at some of the trade signals for a second. Let's go in here to the chart. This is on range bars. Okay, so this is with direction. This was with direction. You're going to see here that this was, I think this is just taking the first signal in the new direction, if I'm not mistaken, because max signals per VM Momo was one. First signal in the new direction. Wow, imagine that. Didn't I say just taking the consistency of that? Why is it taking two in this direction? Because we had a blip momentum did go below the zero line. So technically, from a quant perspective, it followed its rules. Normally, you'd see a little bit of a bigger momentum filter, but you know that, that technically did its job, right? And what's nice about this is you're not getting chopped around in the noise. You got to let the market do its thing, but you're on the right side of the market. When you're breaking structure pivots like this, you're on the right side of the market. And that's what I found is really, really unique about this is that, uh, yeah, it's very close to a one-to-one -one R multiple with an 80% win rate. Very, 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 very different than scalping for the couple ticks. Like this is just a better system. Like I just feel it's just a better trading strategy, right? You have room to let the market move. You're on the right side of the market. You don't have to let the noise kick you out of the trades. Like sometimes when you're order flow trading or you're trading with very tight stops and targets, it's fine, but you don't let the market do what it needs to do. And, and that's the difference between price action versus indicator driven signals. And price action takes time to breathe. It takes time to ro rotate. And, and when you give the market time to breathe, it usually, if you're on the right side of the trade, you're, you're normally going to get a better result, right? And 
So this is just show, showing you some of the signals on this. I just wanted to share with you. Like you can see that, you know, when you look at this and, and there was a stop out, like, hey guys, imagine how you get a stop once in a while. Like, you know, it's not perfect. Like no system's perfect. Okay. Um, you know, depending on how quick the market wants to react right off the open, you know, you take a break, a structure coming off momentum right here. You can see that this was the zigzag pop, 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 break of structure, momentum on your side, rocket, boom. Okay. And uh, so this is just, you know, and but this is the S&P. Now we're using this on an S&P chart of trade time at seven in the morning, my time to 1030 Pacific. So uh, a couple hours of trading in the morning and we're using this on an eight range bar. So you're using S&P eight range chart. Okay. And that was Friday. Boom, boom. Two trades on Friday took off of that, right? So that's a good example of the S&P, but like, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Like how many of you guys trade the NQ? How many of you guys like the NQ? Love it, Scott says, amazing. Perfect. Well, it's the best market. Like it's the best market. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like you could sit there and tell me, ah, oh, you know, show me this, show me that. Like, I don't care what you tell me about that on almost a 4%, a 4%. Yeah, that's, we could take that in there. That was, uh, you, you'll, it'll have to factor in commissions. I have to set the commissions up. Maybe it was just a template error, but take maybe a couple hundred bucks out of for commissions. That's fine. So, but take a look at this, like profit factor. Take a look at that. Take a look at this. That's nuts. Like I've built a lot of systems over the last year. And you got to give my hats off to these algo guys that were testing this and getting this ready for us because I didn't do it. This is the key here. I had our community build this. I had algo traders build these for us, not me. I build the software with our team, but our traders did all the work. And this is what they got because they're consistently trading the HFT and they're also trading the hybrid and they're also trading the ATR vol trader. They're trading three of our algos and they're very consistent traders. So they took this system and said, yeah, we can make this work because it's a really easy system and it's very, very simple. Like there's, there's only one setting. Like, look at this, take a look at this. You've got this, 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 this. So it's not taking equal highs. So it's not taking double tops or double bottoms. So it's only taking, there's two long signals and there's two short signals. And the only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is the swing strength and how many trades per direction you take in. That's it. Like there's nothing else. Like, this isn't even optimizing. You're not even having to optimize. You're just telling which signals to turn on. So these are the signals. The only thing that's tested in this system is the swing strength and how many trades you want to take in one direction. That's it. Like there's nothing else that needs to be done. And to me, that, that, that to me was just, okay. Like I was like, wow. Like I think everybody's going to love this for a change because it's the most simplest thing I've ever seen. So when you look at the NASDAQ, which is a rock and roll market, right? And you look at an 83% hit rate on almost a one-to-one, -one, like that's almost 0.8 hour multiple. That's crazy. With a four profit factor over the last several, three weeks, right? And so let me just show you this. Like, let me just take a look at this. Like the, the consistency was through the roof. And, and when I look at the, the, the stats on this, let's just go to the analysis. Let's go time of day. Right, like we blocked it. I don't know why it's taking a trade there. Maybe it just let it run. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a turn it off or it's an error on my part. But either way, yeah, I don't know why that's like that. But either way, <clears throat> the point is, it's a morning system. <laughs> okay, maybe it was an outlier trade that got didn't close at the end of the session. That had to exit at end time. That's why it wasn't turned on. Yeah, that's just needs to exit at end time. But the whole point is, is that if I look at that type of stats, okay. We can do entry time. Yeah, we can do that. <clears throat> there we go. Half hour of the day. Yeah. All in the morning session. But this is early morning trading. Boom, boom. NASDAQ moves off the open. Yeah. NASDAQ moves off the open. Okay, if I look at trade data, daily, there it is. Last three weeks of data. <laughs> okay. So when I go into the chart and take a look at this, Look at the NQ, like the NASDAQ moves. So when you're trading the NQ, you want to give it time to pop. NASDAQ's pop, okay? 
And uh, you may trade different time frames, different markets, but we're running these on range charts because they have zigzags are very, very, uh, very, very clean to see. This is on a, a 50 range bar, 50 tick range bar. Okay. And, uh, you know, you can see the patterns, right? Th this is like, you can see the zigzags, like you can see the, the patterns breaking in here and breaking out here. But what's more important is that, you know, we're just taking trades in the direction of the market. So if you look at Friday, like the market opened here, we were trading with the direction. We took out the structure off the open first pop of the day. They faked out everybody. Boom. They transitioned momentum, took the structure break and they took it lower. Boom. Got the low of the day. Boom. Took the structure break, pivoted up, took the first structure on the first side of momentum. That's it. So all it's doing. It's just automating the breakouts off of structure changes off of fast markets. And it, it really just automates the efficiency of it. And, and NASDAQ's fast, man. If you're not fast, it's going to leave you behind. Right. Oh, I had a stop out. Imagine that. That's okay. That's why the R multiple is so big. And I love that about this system is that you have, you have the ability to cushion yourself. You know, you're not taking one win at an 80% hit rate with a 0.25 R multiple. Some of the systems that we've produced were great for scalping, but they were producing 80% hit rates with like 0.25 R multiples. That's, you can't even put these in the same league as that. Not that one is better and it's not the other systems weren't good. It's just that this, to me, from a mathematical perspective, blows everything out of the water. So I just felt that, you know, it's not about just performance. It's about what do quant traders want? Stability and risk management, consistency and easy trades. I just, I have, we have not built a system that produced that type of environment to, that could beat this. Now, I know that our, we've got a couple of algo traders out there that are doing some pretty impressive things with some of our systems. But from a, a newbie perspective, let's say you've been struggling and you've been, uh, haven't had your luck with the algos, or maybe you haven't you had your luck in trading, period. Do I feel that this could be the simplest thing you load on your charts? Yeah, I think that if you're going to load an algo that's simple, this is it. Um, is it profitable? Yes. Is it consistent? Yes. Is it clean and easy to trade? Yes. Um, will we help you set it up? Absolutely. We have the templates built already for you. You could load these templates and without a doubt, trade them instantly. You don't need to do any tweaking. You don't need to do anything. Maybe you want to check your times, time zones, make sure the time zones are aligned, right? But uh, Jim's going to cover that in the AMA. Jim's going to do that, right? And uh, I've got a special gift that I'm going to give everybody because of the history with everybody. and and. Uh, you know, I'm going to basically give an algo away. We always give an algo away on the launch. It's just per perks of what we do, right? And uh, some of the things that, that we like to do is just give people, give back where we can. So, Jim, we're going to run that poll. If you want to kick back that giveaway, if you want to, if you want uh, a free license, Jim's going to run this poll. Just uh, fill it out. You got one minute. We're going to pull names from this poll, and we're going to give an algo away. Okay, we always do. I don't know if anybody here's ever won one or not. I know that we've given a lot away over the years. Okay, so make sure you fill that out. Okay. <clears throat> So whenever you're ready, Jim, I don't know what the time has been on that. How long has it been? Yeah, I think it's been long enough. Yeah, we got 98%, 90, oh, 100% answered. Yeah, well, we're good. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that's good. Enough. Here, here's, here's what we're going to do, okay? Because we've had so much repeat business in the algo community. So many algo traders buy our systems. So many people have bought so many products. We understand it costs money to get in the business. Takes a lot of money to build this stuff, right? The amount of time it took for us to code this, and the you guys don't even realize it. it's just insane. The amount of people that we've got on payroll for development and for indicators and R and D and system, it's just six programmers going full time with an art with an R and D guy and a basically uh, uh, a Q and A tester. It's just full tilt. So 
what we've decided to do, okay, um, is when we launch this, we're going to give you guys a giveaway as well so that you're not just having to buy something. You're also getting free stuff with it. So let me just share with you what we're going to do, okay? The launch is very, very simple. We're going to give you 50% off the promo, okay? 50% off the offer and the license. You get two computer licenses, okay, with your, you get user documentations. You will install it. We've pre-built the templates. The templates were built by our dev team and algo group. It was not built by me. It was built by our beta group. So this is something that is very unique to us is that we felt that it was better that our algo traders build it than just having the company build it so that our traders would be more receptive to understanding that it's not our traders built this, right? And, and this is why we felt the consistency was through the roof. But what we're going to do, and I believe what we're doing here, Jim, is we're giving away a coupon. Yeah. I don't think it's on this one here. It's on. Yeah. We're going to. Didn't, gonna get, uh, didn't yeah. get on the slide, but I put it in the, the chat box here. It's 500 bucks. When you buy oh. this algo. Okay. Today, we're giving you 50% off. Okay. Everybody who buys it gets an additional $500 coupon for ARC. So technically the spread is you're paying like 150 bucks for the system. If you think about it, you could go to our store and you could use that coupon and you could get a free product right off the website. The thing is, is that we wanted to find a way to give back to everybody because everybody spent a lot of money over the years and we felt that why not make it really sexy. So for everybody that buys the system, you're going to get a $500 voucher for ARC for anything future courses, development, algos, indicators, whatever you want, okay? The coupon can't be used on the purchase today, but it can be used on everything else, okay? So the key here is you guys do the math, right? It works out to like $148, right? $148.50, right? And uh, if you can justify having probably the best performing system we've ever built, for it works out to like 148 bucks with the coupon. You know, you're not using the coupon for this purchase, but you get it for the future. So it's it's your call. 50% on the launch, it's a win-win. And we're gonna do an AMA tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do an AMA tomorrow where we're gonna basically just go over questions, QA, go over some live charts, proper management, setting up the templates, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, the key here is that uh, you don't need to do anything. What I felt was really awesome about this is that these signals. They're just so simple. There's no tweaking. There's no nothing. You can just plug and play these right out the gate. So if you want to run this template on the NQ and the, and the S&P tomorrow, you could do that. Like plug and play, run it, rock it. It's ready to go. No have to. There's no nothing. I mean, this was running till Friday last week. Nothing's changed. Nothing needs to change. Like the statistics are amazing. So we'll run the AMA tomorrow. Jim's going to come in just to help with a little extra handholding, a little system overview, just go over some details. But uh, you have an opportunity. Um, Mark says, error on the purchase link. Jim can help with that. Probably yep. a little tweak on that. But So let's run that poll, Jim, and just check to see. Can you guys do me a favor and just type a yes if you're planning on getting this? I need to know because my support team and my dev teams and I, we need to be able to work with everybody to be able to get everybody set up. So give me a yes. Uh, you can fill out the poll. But uh, type it in the chat box as well, just so I understand, because I want to make sure that our team can help you get it set up. I want to make sure that, you know, we spend some extra time going over support if you need it. And we want to make sure we get the templates over to you guys and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. We don't operate on those platforms, right? Oh, those are, those are just, they're not very good. Yeah. They're, they're terrible platforms. <laughs> yeah. You would never, ever see me trading on that platform. That, that, those platforms are 1980s. Okay. <clears throat> the reason we ask this is not anything other than we really, it's really for support. We are really, really keen on support. We need to be able to make sure that our customers um, are on, get the support they need, right? Like it's that simple. Like we have to make sure that you get the support you need or else everybody gets pissed off. We don't answer emails or we, and I need to make sure we know how many people, right? That's a good question, Rick. I didn't build the template. Let me go check. <laughs> Rick wants to know, is that based off of, it only runs on Ninja at this time. Yeah, it's only built on Ninja. Yeah, our algorithms run on NinjaTrader. Yeah. So uh, let's go down and take a look at the contracts. Um, where is it here? Three? It's a micro? Yeah, it's a micro. So three contracts on the micro NQ? On the S&P, let's take a look here. 
risk per trade. That's all that matters, right? Risk per trade right here. That, that, that shows you everything. Yeah. I just can't stress this, guys. Like, I just can't stress the, the profit factor to the win-loss to the R multiple. Like, I just... I was so happy to see my, my, my beta group do such amazing things. I was like, no, these are based on range charts, Jay. Range charts. Yeah, the S&P on an 8 tick and the NASDAQ on a 50 range bar. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like, I just can't express the fact that it's non-lagging, right? Like that to me is very, very important to me, right? It's very, very important to me that it's non-lagging, right? So you're not using any indicators. You're using pure price. The link is working now, guys. It just took a minute for the system to get it live. So it's good to go now. How long do we use the coupon? Yeah, so the, the future coupon is, I, there's no expiry on that, right? I don't think, Jim, we didn't put it, I don't, I, don't, I don't think, well, why would we expire a coupon? It's our gift to you, right? It's not like you have to force you to buy something next week with the $500 free money. It's uh, it's a gift, right? If you want to keep it till you see something you like right? Then uh, rock and roll. But it's our way of saying, hey, guys, thanks for the business. Thanks for, for uh, you know, the continuous effort on products and stuff. And, you know, who doesn't want $500 free bucks? It's free free money, right? So it's, uh, I felt that it was, uh, uh, you know, well, well, well built out. Our team decided to do something great. Uh, yeah, well, you can use it. This is a semi-automated system. So there's no, uh, there's no, it's not a, it's not a signal provider. It's a semi-automated system. You have the ability to turn it off. So if you are using uh, uh, Apex, you can use this. It's a semi-automated execution tool. You can fully automate it or semi-automate it, but it, it classifies as a semi-automation. Yeah. Even though it's a fully automated system, you have the ability to manage it and turn it off, which is what Apex allows. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a great example of the signals coming in on the NQ. And uh, this was Friday's trades. Like I didn't, I don't haven't run it from, from today. I just, I didn't have it built from today. It's uh, all of our algos, Phil, will be going over to the new platform in the future. Everything will be in the new platform. So anything that goes over from Ninja into the new platform will uh, be transferred over. It just takes a bit of time to bring it over. So any anybody that's using them here will have them on the other platform. Yeah. Yeah. No issue there. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Yeah. I think everybody's buying. <laughs> it's, the site is like freaking out right now. That's a back end thing. Um, let me ping, ping Ashley. Yeah, she needs will. to be aware of that. And and yeah, uh, yeah but we'll get you. It, you. It's not like you got to buy right at this second. You can buy tonight. You can buy. You know, we'll send you the emails with the links. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll help you set it up on Ninja Trader, guys. If you need help with the install, just send a message to support. We'll get you covered. Absolutely. That's if you need to get Ninja Trader up and running and you don't have Ninja Trader, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nikki, you don't got to buy it. You're a partner. Anybody that's an equity or a debt partner with our cap raise right now, perks of being part of the family. Perks of being great. You guys, guys are great, right? Like, uh, yeah. So uh, hopefully you guys. Uh, yeah, thanks, Nikki. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Everybody's in it to win it together, and uh, we love you guys, too. Yeah, we, we really do. Yeah. Yeah. Just remember, this is not the pattern finder indicator. This is the pattern finder algo. Okay. Yeah, Bill, Bill, no problem. Jim's got everybody here, so please just, Jim, if you could put your email in, or if you could put the support emails in, I want to make sure that you know, uh, I'm really proud of this because it's a price action system. It's not lagging. And, and I just, you know, I think we just really need to give a big shout out to our algo guys because, uh, you know, they really nailed it. They really freaking nailed it, you know, and, and I really love the fact that it was them, not us that did this. You know, I just, you know, because we had so many traders that kept saying, why don't you put the algos in front of all of us? Give the algos to your customers. Let us tweak it. Then you launch it. Well, we did. We did. That's what this was. So everybody that kept asking for that, I hope you see that we're in it with you. <laughs> right? We're in it with you. All right. So, uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for being here. Um, you know, it was a quick, short, to the point system. That's what I like about this. There's nothing complicated. You want to run a price action system? We got your back. Right? This is it. Right? You want a consistent signal? Right? This is it. 
and uh, it's it's as clean as it gets. So, uh, and if you want to run it on the S and P and the Nasdaq, yeah, that's 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 sexy. So, and uh, by any means, guys, we'll go over stuff in the AMA tomorrow, and and we'll go over that, and um, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll make sure that anybody that needs help will have access to that. Okay, so let's go back to the PowerPoint. Let's pull it up and make sure everybody's got access to that. So there's going to be an AMA tomorrow. We'll get an email for that. And do uh, you want the ES chart? Ben wants the ES chart. Okay, Ben, we can definitely do that. Yeah, let's take a look at the ES chart uh, from Friday. Let's take a look at the S&P chart from Friday. Yeah, right here. There was Friday's trades. We, too, we didn't get the short like it was on the NQ because the time of day that it started. But uh, we got both longs. Yeah. Both longs on the on the S and P last Friday, and this is not a scalping trade. This is a price action system. So this is not you're going to catch twenty trades in a day. You're going to catch probably two, three trades a day, and they're going to be bangers, right? What else do you need? You're trading five accounts or three accounts or ten accounts. Like you get a couple solid signals across ten accounts, right? It's uh, rock and roll, right? Yeah, and no fancy optimization templates and no settings and literally just you're taking the patterns. There's the signals for the longs and the shorts. You have a swing setting and you're only taking the first trade in the new direction. Like it doesn't get simpler than that. How many of you guys like that? Because some of you guys were asking about the algos and, uh, um, you know, they're like, I don't understand testing. I don't know all that. And it's like, yeah, well, this is, is a monkey could trade this. <laughs> a monkey could trade this, right? I truly believe my dog could trade this. Well, let's not go that far. Monkey's probably got a bit on a dog, but <laughs> right? give me a banana, Scott says. Right? right? And uh, so anyways, guys, I think that's it. I think you guys have had enough time. It's the end of the day. We all need a break from the screens, get a little exercise in, a little bit of uh, you know health and wellness. So, you, know, you know, we've got you covered. Everybody's going to get the uh, the deal. So here's my effort in trying to help give back to everybody. I'm giving everybody $500 just for purchasing. So that can be used in the future for programs, courses, systems, launches, whatever you need. And uh, and if you're using NinjaTrader, you can download Ninja for free and use a demo data feed. You can sign up for a prop firm and uh, they'll give you the data feeds. Like you don't have to you don't have to do all that. And just if you need assistance with that, just send an email in and put your email in, Jim, and put the support stuff in here. Give them the link to purchase and let's make sure they have it and we're all set to go. Yeah. If you uh we don't announce the winner till like tomorrow or the next day, Walter. So if anybody here if you bought and you did we use a system that actually puts it in a, a name caller and it's like an up, we upload the poll list and then it picks a winner. And then if the purchase, if the, if that person purchased because they were excited, then, uh, then basically what will end up happening is uh, we'll just give you the refund in PayPal. Yeah. It's not an issue. And we've refunded several people before for winning. They bought on the event and then they won and we're not here to gouge people. Like we're, we're too many clients for that. It's not about try the, try the link again, guys. I think it might be back up. I don't know what happened on the back end, but it uh, looks like it's working now. If you want to try it again, yeah. So and maybe post the links again in the chat box, Jim. Mm -hmm. So so uh, Naski's asking define you. Yeah. So normally the algos are going to be about a thousand bucks. Most of our algos run anywhere between a thousand to two thousand, depending on how complicated it is for us to build it. Like the HFT algo was much more expensive because it's <laughs> it's like the Ferrari of Ferraris. Right. But this is it doesn't take us as much to build this as it does an HFT algo. So the prices are less. And so basically this is we give you 50 percent off the algo. So today you pay this and everybody who buys this gets the algo. And then you get a future voucher for five hundred dollars that can be used on all future purchases. Yeah. Make sense, guys? Yeah, it's very simple, right? When you pay for this, you're going to get a coupon for future business. Yeah, it's very simple. Excellent. Give me a yes that everybody understands. We're good to go. Tomorrow, we're going to do an AMA, okay? And uh, I want to say thank you. Simple to the point, one hour in and out, done and done, clean as whistles, right? Clean as clean as clean as day. And uh let me tell you, man, like 
most consistent I've seen across the systems. So uh, got to give my, my props to the guys that built it out, right? So um, the PPTs, or you mean not the PowerPoints, you're talking about the, the templates for the algos? Yeah, we're going to share the templates. Everybody who buys this gets the templates. You get all the pre-built algo templates. We'll install it with you if you need it. And uh, the AMA will cover some more details tomorrow, right? No problem. Yep. But you're going to want to have that algo when you come to that AMA, because you're going to want to have it up and running. You're going to have questions. We're going to go through the templates. We're going to show you the settings. We're going to, tomorrow's like a hand-holding experience and uh, you're all set. Okay. Oh no, it's teamwork. James, Jim put together the PowerPoint. I work with the dev teams. We both bring it to market. Everybody wins. We're all a family here. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, if you missed part of today's webinar, you can come to the AMA and you can watch the recording from today. Yeah. So I want to thank everybody for being here. Look forward to having you guys in the event. And uh, this is an exciting system. I'm looking forward to everybody posting trades and, and trading it because the market moves, price moves. Like it's that simple. And uh, like the three most profitable systems we have are the HFT, the Wicker, which is the hybrid, and the ATR Vault Trader. We have more consistent traders on those, th those systems than any other system we've produced. And those are the most, and those guys that are trading those systems did the optimizing and the back testing for this. So this is where I really see the, the, the merit in what this is. So I'm really excited, right? Yeah. Perfect, guys. Okay. Well, thanks for being here, traders. I'm going to let you guys go. Watch for the emails, watch for the recordings. And uh, thanks for your guys' attendance. Hope you guys enjoyed the event as much as we did. We'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys tomorrow in the AMA. If I'm not there, Jim's going to get you covered. You guys are all set.